they are is Joe from Angels and Ancestors. Sorry, darlings, I didn't have my headset on. It's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. This is your WTF reading for September. Uh, no announcements to make. So that's sort of like one of those things. Um, so for those of you, I've just, just kind of been told, for those of you that are in the UK, I will be tarot reading um, at the Halloween celebrations at Colchester Castle. Um, this year, I'm really uber excited to be doing it. Um, yeah, and it's going to be absolutely fascinating. The kids are going to be there, adults are going to be there. So, yeah, if you're in the area, please, please come along. And, and even if you're not having a reading, come and say hi, because um, it would be great to meet everybody, or at least some of you anyway. Oh, I didn't even light a candle. Let's light the candle. That was the whole point of coming back out here, because I felt like everything would go up in flames in in the other room so my darlings and i don't know you're gonna have to tell me about this because i like to show you the deck um but here i've got massive angel wings and a moon let me show you um Please let me know if you would rather be looking at that. Very pretty, isn't it? Or whether you do actually prefer to see the bottom of the wings and be looking. Sorry, darlings, the bloody thing's gone wonky. Looking at the table. I mean, I do hold the cards up, I know that. But just let me... Let just let me know it would be interesting to find out and leo i'm asking you guys because you are my most consistent followers um on youtube i have to say and um yeah i just thought i'd ask for your opinion so my darlings energies gentle force consistency persistence patience the long game in for the long haul in for the long haul now we've got one card out this could be about business this could be about um, a love relationship this could be a parent and child relationship it could be anything right now oh i think it's parent child relationship birth mysteries what are you being called to create could it be a job could it be exams could it be a new business could it be um, that you've got a business and you're being called to diverse, possibly. On call, healer, seer, priest, priestess, priest X. I don't know what that is. Soul purpose. There is a calling around you. And I don't get that this is something on the physical plane. I think this is something from the spiritual plane. Cosmic Ocean, yeah. Current dreams, future realities and new beginnings. Look at this, beautiful. Leo, I do get the feeling that as resistant as you may be to receiving these messages, and I am getting some resistance to this, you're not doing this, you're not kind of holding it in your hand and going, oh, isn't that pretty? You're kind of like going, oh, really do i have to no you don't have to you really don't have to but before you make up your mind of that try to connect with what they're trying to tell you it might not be what you think it is so if you are getting vivid dreams or downloads around um a spiritual shift or a, sh a spiritual ascension or giving other spiritual people support. You know, you could be asking yourself, oh, why me? Why not you? Is more to the point. Why not you? Um, you know, most Leos that I know have got good business heads. Most Leos that I know are entrepreneurs. 
um they really know their shit and they just go out and get what it is they want so why not you why would you not be showing other people the way why would you not be showing other people um what it's like to manifest what it's like to hold their dreams in their hands and see it actually come to fruition and reality very nice but yeah it's definitely a spiritual calling darlings but this birthing of a new idea, I'm kind of getting that perhaps you know what it is that you want to do, but you're still kind of, do I click, my, I don't know where this come from, do I click my heels and um, go and find the good witch or do I just spin around and hope that I turn into a superwoman or superman or Whatever it is, darlings, whatever it is that you're birthing, you'll do it really well. You know you will. <sighs> this is huge. Straight out the gate, you've pulled a major arcana. Leo, if you have been ignoring this, you're not going to be able to much longer. I ain't even got the cards out and I'm telling you that for sure. Why are you procrastinating? Why are you hanging around? What What's that all about? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Movement journey for Leo, please. Thank you. Oh, that's not surprising. What can Leo do about this situation? Thank you. <laughs> okay. What's out of Leo's hands? What can't they do anything about for September, please? Hmm. Reconnecting to your true selves. And your outcome. So, my darlings, what started your what the fuck you got the wheel of the year? This is a cycle coming to a close and a new cycle beginning. It's a major shift. The eagle has good perspective on this. He treads the wheel, he doesn't spin it out of control because he's really happy to see what happens next. And literally, luck is so on your side with this. It's like the roulette wheel, but you've just hit the jackpot and that's that's your energy for the beginning like that's how how it's all starting is this huge shift out of an old cycle and being flung into a new cycle now some of the planets are starting to come out of retrograde at the beginning of september venus is one um i think it's the fourth it comes out of retrograde Mercury is still right in the middle of a bloody retrograde, which isn't very happy, to, um, isn't very helpful to anybody. But I am thinking for you, this is going to shift you forward. Even one planet out of retrograde is going to make you see a massive change in yourself. And it could be that as Venus comes out of retrograde, you see the value and the wisdom in loving yourself first. And that puts you in good stead for the rest of the year because it is the wheel of the year so keep that in mind facing your fears and taking your power back leo ten of wands another completion but this time there's a little bit of a story to this this poor woman witch whatever you want to call her has got all of these wands she's stacked them onto her shoulders and they are weighing her down she really wants to get to those standing stones at the top of the hill but she's taken on these burdens from other people they're not hers and this is you and I get that you don't put other people's burdens down because you're frightened of upsetting them hurting their feelings whatever it is you don't have to be rude you don't have to hurt anybody's feelings but what you do have to do with people is make sure that they're walking their own pathway in this lifetime. 
And that means they hold their own wands. You don't get to do that for them. You can walk beside somebody. You can encourage somebody. You can journey with them, but you cannot do their journey for them. Um, so it is now time to let those wands go. Let them go back down that hill so that you're not burdened and you can get to those beautiful standing stones of protection at the top of the hill where your inspiration and all the good stuff is actually hiding. It's not hiding from you because I think you can see the light. Um, but facing your fears is don't worry about other people's feelings, darlings, because if you do it in the right manner and you do it in the right way, and you do it with love. Those of those, those people that really care about you and want the best for you will allow you to walk with them while they're sorting their own shit out. Other people that don't want to sort their own shit out, that thinks it's your job, your responsibility, as soon as you say that you don't want that anymore and you're going to stop the energy vampire dead in its tracks, those people will fall away so facing your fears is getting this completion underway it must happen you're a major arcana and the ten of wands it has got to happen this is your passion and desire because you want the new beginning you want that one wand that is yours that is going to draw energy down from the sun and give you the opportunities that you really are hankering after so your manifestation, your wish fulfillment on why it may be fucked. You've got the three of wands, my darlings. Waiting around. This is what I said to you right at the beginning of the reading. What are you waiting for? Why are you still on the dock side? Why aren't you going to see if any of those boxes are yours? Why aren't you going to see if the person that you're waiting for is on that ship? And if they're not, why aren't you jumping on that ship to go to them? Stop waiting around. Your manifestation will be completely fucked if you don't action what it is that you want. It's all very well putting it out there. Oh, yes, I want this. I want this to happen. I want whatever it is. I want it to happen. Yeah, great. Now write down if you if it does happen, write down your thoughts, your feelings and how it would make you feel if that landed in your lap tomorrow. Also, actioning something Get onto the internet, write it down, look at the internet, see if what you want is already out there or if somebody else has had an idea and it's just too big for them to carry. Perhaps they're waiting for you and you're waiting for them, but you're on the dock side and they're completely somewhere else. Don't do it to yourselves movement forward always do not stagnate in one position movement and journey where the fuck you need to be don't you need to go back to basics a little bit you really do leo you've got the midas touch darling whatever you touch turns to gold it really does and this lovely little page of wands comes in this is probably the younger you when you had the ability to wave a wand wave a thought in your head and all the obstacles to what you wanted just magically moved out of the way you haven't lost it you've forgotten about it and your movement and your journey is saying go back in time and grab that essence grab that energy and bring it forward you need it now what you can do about this situation is listen to this card over here birth mysteries what are you called to create earth mother same message same message she comes in to remind you that fertility is not all about pregnancy and babies it can be the creation of something that you really want in your life a manifestation in your life it could involve other people it could just involve yourself but there is abundance out there for you in that cornucopia fire signs leo you really have to touch base with the earth and like i said to capricorn kick your bloody shoes off and go and make that connection doesn't matter if you walk across a beach it doesn't matter if you've walked barefoot on a a nice grassy 
field, it doesn't matter so long as you are making contact with the earth. And I got really stuck with this when I was young because I lived on the 11th floor in a flat. And I have to say, no one should be forced to live above trees. It is absolutely awful that they do that to people. However, I did live above trees and one of my good friends back then um, taught me to sit on the floor in the flat and imagine myself going down, down, down and into the basement and into the ground. And I was able to ground myself that way. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can ground yourself. What's out of your hands, darlings? Oh, you are the master craftsman. You've done all this work towards your pentacles. You've left the door open for opportunities. The little pigeon is sitting down the bottom here, coming in with clear messages for you. And there you are whittling away at yet another pentacle. You are the master of this craft. Darling, you should be giving direction to other people and the universe are trying to wake you up to that fact. They're trying to make you see that the skills that you've got are so wonderfully honed that you have the opportunity to actually make this work for other people. And that doesn't mean the burdens of other people. This means teaching people the skill to become the master craftsman themselves. So you may be beavering away at a job, at making money, at your home life, but there is something that is pulling on you that is saying, come on, you can teach people this. You can teach people the way to do business. It's absolutely fine. So reconnecting to your true self, you've got the six of wands. It's a very fiery reading, I have to say. The six of wands for me is my um, accolade card and it's my attractor card as well. So the six of wands for me is you have come back triumphant after doing something and everybody is out celebrating with you massively celebrating and when I laid this card down I instantly got there is nothing that makes you happier than to share something in your community and then celebrate about it so I don't know if you're uh, making stuff and then put it on freebay or whatever they they call it where you are um, and telling people it's on the doorstep come get it or whether you are giving furniture away or you're just literally giving hours to your community maybe you're babysitting for people maybe um you're looking after granny and granddad for somebody but there is this real sense of community around you and people really appreciate your efforts now the attractor factor is while you are riding high like this you will without a doubt shine a light from within you to the outside world and that makes you highly attractive to new friends acquaintances lovers whoever passion and desire is always the way to go outcome nature stop setting traps for yourself Stop thinking there is only one way to do things and start thinking that there are many different ways, that the probabilities and the possibilities are endless. Now, that bear's looking at you going, you can bloody set that trap. I ain't putting my paw in there because he's more sensible than you. He wants to go off and dance with the wood nymphs and so should you. So this card for me is about releasing the traps that bind us that keep our thinking and our dreams limited because we're told that we shouldn't really dream those dreams because they're too big for us. Tell people to fuck off. Honestly, tell them to go away because at the end of the day, they're your dreams and only you've got those. Don't stay with the traps. Move away, let your hair down, go and have a dance. Go and literally touch base with nature. Go for a walk. Go for a swim. And I'm not talking about in a swimming pool. I mean in, in the ocean, if you can. Um, 
but don't keep yourself trapped into thinking that there's only one way to do this because there are many ways to do this and I'm kind of getting that your energy is very spiritual but you are stuck between earthy energy and fiery energy at the moment. So earthy energy is all about your finances, your career, your home life, your fire energy is all about projects and plans and, and what gets you fired up. Whereas these cards are saying to you, come on, you need to kind of get touch base with your emotions, get into tune with your thoughts and your feelings. So what's hidden from you currently is the Ten of Chalices. It's another completion, but this time it's a lovely completion. Perhaps you're thinking of adding to your family, maybe in a new relationship, maybe merging a family together. But you've got the Ten of Chalices that is telling me that everything's going to be OK. Now, where there is a completion, obviously there's a new beginning. So although you are completing this, the new beginning tells me that you are bringing a chalice to this that is full up, full of love, joy, happiness. And that's how you're, you are going to go forward with what it is that you um, so really want. And I'm getting that you're getting called, called to, you're getting called to it. Right, let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom, guidance. I have some knowledge, wisdom, guidance for Leo, please. Thank you for September. You know, and if this is something spiritual, I think that you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and you feel that there's no room to go. And there is, there's always up. Anything else for Leo? Thank you. So the reason that prompted me to say that was because the first card that fell out was Star Ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. It is telling you stories. Knight, be brave and honest. You don't have to be brave and honest for other people, but as long as you're brave and honest for yourself. Snake, shed old skin summer bask in joy and light high priest intend and create white witch what was i saying about your shining this light from you white witch be the light and stag trust and thrive leo leo i hope that was of some help to you wherever you are in the world please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading Bye for now.